Let's begin with a question. What household cleaning task gives you instant sense of accomplishment? Take a moment, picture it. My choice is Swiffering. You know, it picks up dust, dirt, pet hair, my hair. And if you're anything like me, you do this one small thing. Before you throw the cleaning pad away, you pause, you look, and in that moment, you see the proof. 25 years ago, Procter & Gamble set out to improve Mr. Clean, the liquid you pour into a mop bucket. With sales slowing, they began exploring new ways to spark growth. Instead of redesigning the mop or selling more cleaner, a junior team member decided to watch how people actually clean their homes. And what they found wasn't a people problem. It wasn't the people, it wasn't a product flaw, it was people's ability. And what they found was people didn't want to touch a cold, dirty mop. So the team created something simply radical. So simple, the earlier versions they were mocked as a diaper on a stick. <laughs> Not exactly inspiring, but profoundly human. Early users would try it once, glance down at everything it picked up, and then they'd say the same thing. Can I keep it? I bet no one ever said that about a mop. And with that reaction, a quiet revolution in cleaning began. Not because the tool was flashy, but because it understood something deeply human. It delivered the outcome without the friction. You know, great, when we get it right, whether it be in cleaning or in designing for AI, the outcome is the same, removing the friction, and making life more accessible. Great technology doesn't start with code. It starts with empathy. Design for what's possible and we will open access for others. When we design for real life, not perfection, we can create innovation. Think again of the Swiffer. If the team had only tried to improve Mr. Clean, that's all they have. And we're at a similar point with AI. If we only use it to optimize what already exists, we may miss the greater opportunity, and especially in accessibility. For too long, accessibility has been treated as a specialty or niche. But what if accessibility wasn't something separate? What if accessibility was part of the technology we already use every day? Let me share an example. Consider Apple's approach. The AirPods Pro 2 are wireless earbuds. They're designed for music, meetings, or translation. They're quietly evolving into clinical grade hearing devices. The way they do this is through a single software update with features like Conversation Boost and Live Listen offer discrete hearing support to something millions of us already have in our pockets. No new device, no new cost, a new path forward. And we're seeing the same innovation and ideas coming into our homes. Consider Amazon's approach. Over 10 years ago, they introduced Alexa, 
a voice activated speaker originally used for timers and music or turning on the lights or opening the blinds or turning on the television. Today, it's powered by sophisticated AI that's offering support for managing medications such as prescription reminders or complex health routines, even supporting diabetes management and providing comfort for those living alone. The world is accelerating. These markets, once seen as niche, smart speakers, and hearing devices, are now turning into multi-billion dollar industries. Both are expected to more than double in the coming years. These numbers, they reflect a deeper shift in our growing comfort with AI in the tools we already use and trust. Sometimes the insight is not in the invention itself. It's in the insight behind it. I saw this insight come alive. It was at Tech Day in Pink. Tech Day in Pink is an annual event for technology leaders and their teams supporting breast cancer research. And I'm a breast cancer survivor, so thank you. As well as new innovations. It's hosted by the Estee Lauder Company. They have 25 brands and 80 years of customer insight. Blind and low vision users were applying makeup, snapping a selfie, and then sending it to someone they trusted for feedback. This approach works, but it reinforces dependence. So the team created something different, something that supported independence. It's a voice-enabled app, and it uses the customer's phone. The way it works is it uses the customer's phone camera, along with AI, to provide real-time voice guidance on the application of eyeshadow, lipstick, or blush, providing information on the placement, correctness, and blending of the makeup so the users can refine their look with confidence, showing up, feeling ready, seen, and unstoppable. This sounds amazing, right? This innovation, it earned Estee Lauder the World 50 Impact Award in 2025. Innovation begins with listening. Impact begins with observation. This is how I see the Swiffer principle in action. Let me share another story with you. It's, it's, it's kind of cool, so, so hear me out on this one. I thought I knew what a Vegas-style concert experience was like until I saw the sphere. It's a dome wrapped in LED lights with sound that moves, air that shifts, seats that vibrate, and a scent woven through the story. It touches every emotion and every one of your senses. The event doesn't just entertain you, it envelops. In 2023, the band U2 opened the sphere in Las Vegas, and it was, it was epic. And during their encore set, they played the song, Where the Streets Have No Name, with a 360 digital landscape accompanying the music. It was going all through the air, and it felt like it was going through your body. I can't sing, but can you picture it? Can you imagine the concert? Thank you. Now, for a moment. Imagine 
attending that concert without sight or without hearing. Our experience changes, but it doesn't diminish. When one sank quiets, the others rise. And this is the opportunity we have with AI to design experiences built for all the ways we perceive the world. Let me leave you with this. Swiffer your AI. Let's look closely at what we do every day, especially the parts that feel messy, frustrating, or impossible. The future of AI will be shaped by bold thinking, not as a fix, but as the foundation. Think about it. The Swiffer didn't tell people how to clean. It already knew how they worked. This is the opportunity AI can bring, not by being flashy, but by paying attention, not by completing tasks, but by opening access to the outcome. Let's design AI that sees people built for innovation, built for all of us. Thank you.